Okay, so why Jews do not accept Jesus now, in our days? Okay. Uh, this, is, this is probably more the thought of the Christian of the thought of the Jewish. Uh, from Christianity came out things so bad for the Jewish, millions of, of, of killing, they kill millions of Jewish, mis Inquisitia, mission, Holocaust. Holocaust, etc. So they have no reason uh, to like and to receive as Mashiach somebody that he seems that he caused all these things. It's connected to this all right, tragedy. So, yeah. Somehow, somehow. Yeah. That's the way they view it. Uh, you know, it is, it is a says that you don't cause a good thing by, by somebody that is a sinner. From, and you don't, you don't cause bad thing from somebody that is a righteous man. You don't expect. You don't cause. God don't cause a, a good, a, don't cause bad thing happen because somebody that is good, that is righteous man. He will not cause for him something bad to happen. Okay. Right. This expression in Hebrew, right? Like Jesus says, it's from a good tree will come a good fruit, and from a bad tree will come a bad fruit. So this will be the test if the tree was See good. Again? I think you, you missed something. From, from a good tree will come a good fruit, and from a bad tree will come a bad fruit. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, right, this is a... It's like the fruit will be the test if the seed of the tree was good or not. Mm -hmm. This will be the test, the fruit. Right, so... It seems that is no such a good, great fruit. They make from Jesus idolatry, what is very bad. Idolatry. Yeah. They make from him idolatry. Uh, all right, so this one, the fourth, the, the worst sin in the Torah. All the Christians make idolatry from Jesus. This, this effect, uh, 99.9, for them, Jesus is God. So this, there is a misunderstanding here. It's a misunderstanding of who? Of the Jewish or of the Christian? Because he say very clearly when they ask him why you make yourself God, he say you are all God and son of God. In the moment you think that only he is God, it's idolatry. In the moment you understand that you are all God and all son of God, no problem. So he fixes it. And not besides himself. He fixes it already. Alright, so he show a good, uh, a good uh, shaliach, a good, uh, I say shaliach, somebody that you send, he will, he, 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 he shows the way. You don't make a party that somebody that came to tell you about God. He is not the thing, the God is the thing. In the moment it is a messenger. From God, right. right? A messenger of God, if you take the messenger, you make, you, you, you make a wall between you and God because you, you took the messenger. Doesn't matter how high is the messenger. He's a messenger. A son is a messenger. A son of God is a messenger too. And he made destination, this messenger is like... A, a messenger, a real messenger, show you the way. Like right. Jesus said, I'm the way, etc. Right? So, the way. You don't talk, 
you don't talk the messenger himself and say, all right, you're enough for me. God is too, it's too high for us. We don't need to, it's, you, you're good enough for us. Right? You don't do this. It's, this is exactly the, the root of all idolatry in the world. Idolatry. We take messenger, right? If it is a sun, if Prophets. it is a moon, if it is an angel, if it is a different angel force, and we make from, you know, all the spiritual force behind the nature, it's all godliness force. They are all part of, of God. Mm -hmm. But still we don't take a particular image, particular Manifest force, manifestation. Mas mas manifestation of God, and say this is God. Or emanation of God, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Equal to yeah. All right, so another reason why, all right, so they say came from him something, something bad. The problem that they forget that really Jesus in his story didn't make the Christianity. Who makes the Christianity? Christianity who make who make a new religion, who creates who create the, the, the new religion, it's, it's Paulus with Shimon Kepha. Now, it is, it is a Jewish leg legend called Agadeta de Shimon Kepha, the legend about Shimon Kepha. And it is the same le legend. From, from Hazal? Yes, yes. The sages of Judaism. Yes. It is a legend about Shimon Kepha, that he was in good connection with our sages, and he helped them, you know, they sent him to complete the mission of Shaul Mitashish. Uh, uh, Paulus to make a separation between Judaism and Christianity. It's been from the Jewish and, and all the Messianic uh, believers of Jesus to take them out from Amisrael by create a new religion. Right, so uh, we have proof about Shimon Kepha that he was really in touch in a good touch connection with our sages. One of the proof of this is that we still we have in our prayer a prayer that we say every Shabbat, for example, Nishmat Kol Chai, a prayer that write Shimon Kepha. And he wrote it after he was in Rome working with Paulus. Wow. Right? So, and it is opinion that uh, in the death of Tet Betevet, what according to, to our sages, it was the 25 uh, December in the year of the killing of the birth of, of Jesus. But in the same day of the birth of Jesus, in the same day, they killed Shimon Kepha. So the opinion that we, we supposed to fast in this day because they killed Shimon Kepha. Also, from, from this you can learn that uh, the story about Shimon Kepha is reliable. Reliable? Re real. The, the, real. It is a story like this with, with, uh, uh, with Paul too, with Shaul Mitashish too. But it's... With Peter? With, Peter? Peter and Shimon Kepha. Okay, so Saint you Peter. don't know about Peter. Uh, about Paul, Peter, Paul. you're talking about Paul or something. Yes, like. about about Paul, about about Saint Peter. We know for sure that there are uh, uh, there are a big righteous men that says that this is true. They call him Tzaddik, righteous man. Shimon Shimon Kepha. So, Shimon but Kepha? about Shaul Mitarshish, huh. Paulos, it is not a proof that this legend is not just a legend. All right, so we don't know, but still, it is a legend like this that he was, he meant in the in the mission of our sages to to make the Christianity. So it would be separation between the the Messianic Jew 
or the, the, the non-Jews that believe in, in, in Jesus and the Jewish. All right, so we should know this, all right? So in the moment who, who established the Christianity is not Jesus, we cannot plan Jesus that he did it. We cannot accuse him. You mean. Yeah, we cannot accuse him uh, uh, why he did it. Right. Because who did it is the Jewish too. Right, so... So Christianity was built by some Jewish yes, sages. Yes, I think still it was In a good Paul thing. And Peter, yeah. It was a good thing that it was part of the plan of God. And it was a good thing. It's a way for the nations. It was completely in idolatry and they are now more close to Judaism of the world before. So anyhow came something good from Jesus. Even from the point of view of Judaism. Uh, but still, after all the killing and all the idolatry, it's very difficult for the Jewish today to, to change their opinion about him. Besides this, that it seems that he's not really, he didn't say really anything important. This is the way he look when we just learn more deeply the New Testament. Just appears like that. Thank you.